travel writing is more than just free trips, fancy restaurants, and stamps in a passport. Like any type of journalism, there are ethical standards to adhere to. But the issues are complicated, and not all writers agree, especially on the issue of accepting free trips and accommodation. Thomas Kahn, Stam of Seattle, says travel writing is subjective. His experience in the field includes writing guidebooks for Lonely Planet. His 2008 book, Do Travel Writers Go to Hell?, reveals his unethical decisions while working for Lonely Planet, as well as the dangers of following these books like gospel. His unethical decisions, which included a sexual relationship with a waitress and a positive review of her restaurant, mean he is no longer invited to work for Lonely Planet. Mike Albo, a freelance journalist, thinks ethics are important. He also notes writers need to make a living, and sometimes free press trips are necessary. His book, The Junket, tells his own story. Albo is a former New York Times columnist. He was fired for accepting a free press trip. Eva Holland, a Yukon-based travel writer, has also accepted free press trips. She and Nova Scotia freelance travel journalist Sandra Finney both think the actual writing is more important than disclosing whether a tourism organization paid for the trip. But Tom Swick, longtime journalist turned freelance travel writer, does not agree. Swick, who lives in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, thinks transparency is important. A reader should know when the writer has accepted a free hotel, meal, or flight. Swick has been on a handful of press trips, but says he is not a fan of traveling this way. The issue is complicated.